to the introduction to exponential functions and laws of exponents so what are the laws of exponents and what is exponent basically okay exponent is the power so for example i have x to the power 2 so 2 is called the exponent so this is the exponent there are some rules for the exponent product rule x to the power n x to the power m n and m would be add if the bases are same if i have x to the power n this is called base this is called exponent or power so if the bases are same the exponents are going to be added for example in this x and x base is same so 8 plus 3 would be 11 2 and 2 base is same so 4 plus 2 would be 6 so here x and y bases are same so for x 3 plus 2 would be 5 for y 4 plus 1 would be 5 quotient rule if the two components are dividing xn over xm then the exponents when bases are same x and x base are same the exponent would be subtracted n minus n in the product it would be added but in the quotient it would be subtracted so 5 minus 2 would be 3 5 minus 3 would be 2 and 2 minus 1 so here it is x square and here it is x to the power 1 so 2 minus 1 1 y to the power 5 y to the power 3 so 5 minus 3 2 okay so if we have any x any base to the power 0 the answer would be 1 if we have 2 to the power 0 it's 1 if we have 2022 to the power 0 it would be 1 so if we have any exponent 0 y to the power 0 is 1 6 to the power 0 is 1 this whole number to the power to the exponent 0 is 1 power rule x n and m is equal to x n dot m if it is like this the exponents are multiplying 3 times 2 is 6 4 times 2 is 8 5 times 2 is 10 expanded power rule x to the y m can be written as x m y m and x y over m can be written as x m over y m for example i have 2 a cube i can write as 2 cube a cube which is equal to 8 a cube or if i have 6 I can write it 6 square x cube square which is equal to 36 x to the power 6. Negative exponents. If I have a negative exponent, I will make it positive by converting it into the denominator if it is in the numerator. As it is in the numerator, I will make it down to the denominator if it will become positive. If it is in the denominator, I will take it to the numerator it will become positive so x to the negative of 3 is 1 over x cube 4 negative to 1 over 4 square is equal to 1 over 16 so here it is minus 4 x to the power 5 y to the power minus 2 <coughs> minus 4 x to the power 5 is already positive the negative is on y so y will come in the denominator with 2 whenever we have negative exponent we will take it into at the numerator or denominator we will reverse the fractions and we will get the positive answer so can you simplify these expressions 2 cube x square cube y 8 minus 9 y negative 1 1 over y 6 3 plus 2 6 5 minus 5 to the power 0 is 1 x bases are same two is in the denominator so it would be subtracted Have you ever heard the saying breed like rabbits? In the bunny problem, you will investigate four different scenarios of rabbit breeding and creating a rule for each scenario. Make a table. Start with two rabbits. Each pair has two babies per month. So 
so starting with two it would be two four come up with the rule it would be two into two to the power m so here it was two into two to the power zero two into one which is two Start with ten rabbits. Each pair has two babies per month. Start with two rabbits. Each has four babies per month. what is an exponential function exponential functions are different than every other function we have studied so far because they have a variable x in the exponent position a b to the power x where a can never be equal to 0 b can never be equal to 1 and b should be equal to 0 b is the rate of the growth the table shows example of exponential growth and exponential decay examine the entries and come up with a rule to determine if an equation represents growth or decay So if b is greater than 1, greater than 1, greater than 1, greater than 1, greater than 1. So if b is greater than 1, so it represents growth. b is less than 1, so it represents decay. So if b is greater than 1, it means growth. b is less than 1, it means decay. Okay, let's simplify this. 